Hello everyone and welcome back to Sarah's Abstract Expressions. If you're new, my name is Sarah and today I'm going to do another triple flip cup but I'm only going to add silicone to, <clears throat> excuse me, two of the colors, that, uh, three of the colors I'm using, sorry. I only have two cups here right now so I'll grab another one. I'm also going to show you how I mix up my Rio Tech paint because it's a lot different than uh, Liquitex or uh, even Artist Loft. Like it's just different than these tubes so um, yeah, I'm going to get you set up and we will get started. Okay. Weird fisheye effect going on, but whatever. Oh, it's just because I don't know what level is, or is this just carded? I think that was carded. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to show you how I mix up this into one of these with gun, of course. This is an 11 by 14 canvas that I will be painting on eventually. So... Bear with me. Mm. I've been struggling with containers all morning and now it's pouring rain and I wanted to go for a walk. It's depressing. I'm gonna scrape off my lid. Get in there, okay. Um, so Rio Tech paints are really different stuff <laughs> to say the least. I like adding at least a few globs. Good couple of them anyways. Uh, and then I'll mix Floetrol in. These are not as pigmented as anything like as the um, like Liquitex stuff or even the Artist Lost stuff. This is like their even says level developing artist so it's like their level level one. Early one. Zero, I guess? Level zero? <laughs> Negative one? I don't know. So. Do a little bit more just to help it out. As you can tell, Floetrol naturally creates cells <laughs> with its own stuff. Um, Floetrol is like a paint extender. Uh, end up pouring medium. It's like PVA glue. Because a lot of people use glue in their pouring recipes. I use slow draw. It's easier if I like honestly go like this and then put it back into the paint and stir it like that because it's such a thick wild paint. As you can tell this is still super <laughs> super thick for what I want. So, thin it out. I'm trying to make my paints runnier to try to help with just flow aspects of things, but not too runny at the same time. Mm. Uh, yeah, a little bit more water won't hurt. In this case, and I mixed up, and honestly, ah, this is what I was gonna show you, but I mixed up the rest of my white in this because I couldn't get my other two open. <laughs> right? So uh, here we are. Um, so, just give me a second. I gotta grab the cup. Please get off me. Bag. knocking things over left, right, and center. So the three colors I'm going to add it to are the purple. I am also going to add it to, I think, uh, the metallic cobalt blue it's pretty. Oh, I'm getting better at this. <laughs> and I'm also going to add it to Cerule Cerulean Blue. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because I still have these two 
and then the weight that I'm not going to. Okay. And clean that up. I should have used the same rag I was using. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> but metallic and cerulean. And where'd you go? Okay. Still using this now that I have it. Oh my gosh, just so much better than what I had. <laughs> oh, it's, it's awesome. One, two, three, four. Perfect. So I don't like adding silicones to my actual pre-mixed containers because then that can, it's not that it can create issues, it's just I don't want to have silicone in all my paints sometimes, so it's easier to do it this way. I have got tape on me and stuff and ugh. Oh, 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 miniature heart attack. Oh man, that scared me so bad. Okay, so now that I have my silicone mixed in, I had four cups there. Wow, okay, <laughs> go me. I'm gonna start mixing this. I know I have a little bit more frame room than I think, so let's push some stuff around. I'm gonna take a sip of coffee though. I went for a nap, which turned into a sleep, so here we are. I was able to deliver a, a friend's painting yesterday, which was nice. You'll see that in my kit coming community post it's um oh man she was so she's so tiny <laughs> and I'm not big myself but when she, I say oh gee she's so tiny I felt like a giant <laughs> like what I don't know why I put the light back on that anyways maybe I won't use it again who knows okay so I'm gonna take the lid off my uh, Liquitex Bright Aqua Green and my Liquitex Basics in gold. Because, why not? Next, I'm going to add this the purple. Okay, I'm turn my cup. I guess you're only getting one layer, but I don't know if I'm going to add more white still. I might just to add contrast. Uh, add, turn that back that way now. Bright aqua green. Just because of how I like to run my layers down the side of the cup like that, because it like slows it. Everyone has their own layering methods, I see, so why not? Um, this one is the one that works for me. People drizzle, people just pour it to each their own. Do, do, do you in that sense, okay? <laughs> now I'm gonna add the cerulean blue. There. Um, yeah, okay, gold. teensy bit of white. Oh, the rain stopped. Nice. And blue. The other blue. The cobalt blue because it's so pretty. I can't stop shaking and I don't know why. <laughs> so now I shall close up my containers. 
things out of the way so I can flip. Gotta grab gloves. Alright. I guess I put my torch back in the corner. Okay. That's no big deal. Just go do that right now. There you are. Trying to put on gloves anyways, so. Day. Okay, I guess before I flip these, I want to show you my other two. So this is the last pour I did. It came out beautiful. I like how it dried. It's really nice. And yeah. I'm excited to see how it's gonna look when it's like finished finished. Also, this is how the one with the iridescent medium turned out. Really pretty, kind of seems grainy because of the uh, ink spot in places, but still like it nonetheless. So, let's try this for a third time. Why not? Determined to master this. <laughs> I've been on a flip cup spree, so. <clears throat> Continuing on, I suppose. I'm just trying to get my canvas back in here. Like so. You'd think I'd learn something. But they are kind of full ish. Yeah, I spilled a little on everyone, go figure. Ooh, pretty. That didn't work out how I planned it. Neither did that one, but okay. Oh, that's a lot of paint there, but whatever. Holy cells. I'm just trying to see what I can do with this considering it looks so a little strange right now anyways okay pretty <laughs> trying desperately not to fling paint all over the place oh piece of tape every time Okay, so. <laughs> Just trying to catch some stuff before it flies away. Anyways, I'm happy I moved how quick it is. The cells look. Wow. It's so big. I'm curious to see what's gonna happen. I also don't want to cook my paint, so... Huh! <laughs> Some of these cups look real neat, too. Oh! I accidentally <laughs> painted in my pop socket in my last video, and uh, I was like, oh no, but then... I went and re-dipped it, so let me know if you guys would actually want these, because, uh, I wasn't expecting it to turn out this nice, and it was really easy to do. It was just a matter of just being like, pull it out and plunk into the paint, and just getting a neat section, so like people do with cabochons, but with pop sockets, and since we're in such a media technology world, you know, I figured, why, why not? 
No, oh, I am so happy with this. Ooh, there goes my stomach. I will <laughs> get you down for a close up. And yeah, because, wow. Just wow. I love how everything just kind of blended together and it just, oh, oh, it looks so nice. I love it. I know it's probably some really like, woo, bright colors, but still, I, I, this, this is probably my, well, one of my favorite combinations of colors that I could think of. So I am so happy this turned out so, like each turned out different, but the same. And they look really nice, so I can't complain. Let me know what you guys think of this one down in the comments below. Like this video if you like this painting. Share with your friends to spread the love. Follow me on social media to, if you haven't already. I also try to post, like, on my Facebook anyways, I try to post my community posts that I write there. Or, right here on there. Yeah. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all next time.